Brian, and Garrett were in a band previously called The Rookie Lot. That was like three years ago with Brandon, who now plays guitar for the Movie Life. And uh, Brandon went over to play guitar for them. We were stale for like a year, and then finally we said we have to start playing together again. So we got together. We had a few songs. Vin was in a band called One Last Goodbye from Levittown. We basically stole him right out of that band. It felt kind of bad, but it worked out really good. Vin has just been a phenomenal guitarist since day one. We recorded our first demo in uh, Brian's basement. He's our drummer. And uh, we produced the whole thing ourselves. It was four songs that uh, we kind of just pulled out of our pockets that we had written, you know, in previous years. And uh, we got together, we recorded it in like a week, and then we distributed it and got a great response from it. And that's kind of what we toured on for the first, you know, at least year of us playing. And uh, we actually re-recorded those four songs for the album. So you're getting different cuts of them. Triple Crown was actually uh, interested in a band that Brian and Garrett previously in called Hometown Hero. And they were probably a little more on the hardcore tip. Um, Fred, though, by the time he got around to actually talking to Brian, they had been broken up for at least six months, and uh, Brian had a new band, so he said, you know, he sent them a demo. Fred's been there since the very first show, you know. He was up front, and he's been supporting us and doing what he can, so we're glad to have him. Triple Crown has been excellent for us in every way. I think when we first started, our goal was to have as many kids listen to us as possible, and uh, staying underground just that's not going to happen. I mean, there's a lot of bands out there that are true to DIY and are true to local uh, hardcore scenes in the underground, but, um, you know, at first, when we first started, we didn't have a choice, you know. You have to do your own thing. You have to record your own demos. You have to book your own shows and all that, but, uh, you know, that all leads up to getting help from other people, and now that we're getting help from other people, we're definitely going to depend on that and need more on that. Uh, we want as many kids to hear us as possible. We want to be a band to make music that people like and that people want to listen to. If no one wants to listen to us, then, you know, we'll get the hell out of here. We have songs that sound pop punk, and uh, I would never deny that, but uh, we're a lot more versatile also. We have, a, you know, a wide range of musical tastes. We don't really listen to a lot of the music in the genre that we're playing with. And so uh, I think that shows in the stuff that we end up writing and we end up playing. And hopefully it's going to continue. Hopefully in the next couple albums we'll expand more into that and you know, maybe we'll surprise some people. You learn how to play in front of a crowd, that's for one thing. And playing a, a, you know, a bar in Belmore in front of four people is a lot different than playing you know, a larger venue with a stage and a big sound system and you know, 600, 700 kids there. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to get even bigger, hopefully, you know, we'll be playing to thousands of kids. And uh, we're, we've been doing a lot of growing, developing in the last year, and we'll probably be continuing to do so. And there's nothing better than, than playing in front of that many kids. It's, it's unbelievable. When you show up and there's that many kids all singing their lyrics, it's just the best feeling. We're not really trying to break away from a lot of bands. We want to be original and we want to be our own entity, but at the same time we want to be a part of rock that's going on. Especially now that more kids are coming out to the, sh the shows, I would never want anyone to feel that they couldn't come up to us and talk to us before or after the show. And uh, we're just kids, you know what I mean? We're just kids playing music, just like anyone else out there. Uh, we're having a lot, a lot of fun, and it's because of all the people that are coming out to the shows. And we really want to show our appreciation for that. Everyone who bought the album, everyone who sing along to their songs and all that just makes it unbelievable.